All right, so just a couple more examples here of simplifying down some trig expressions using identities. So here we're going to simplify cosecant squared x minus 1 over cosecant squared x. And I'm going to again make use here. Um, I'm going to write, so we've got tangent squared x plus 1 equals secant squared x. We don't need that one just yet. Um, the other identity is cotangent squared x plus 1 equals cosecant squared x. And I think that's the one we're going to need in this case. So notice if you subtract 1 from this second um, identity, we'll get cosecant squared x minus 1 equals cotangent squared. So that's what I'm going to write in the numerator. It says cosecant squared x minus 1 would be cotangent squared x. And that's all being divided by the original cosecant squared x. And at this point, you know, probably what I would do um, is I would rewrite these. So let's see, cotangent is going to be cosine x over sine x. But again, they're being squared. So I'm going to put the squares on both of them. Uh, cosecant squared, that's 1 over sine squared x. So really, I've got cosine squared over sine squared all over 1 over sine squared. So that's going to give me cosine squared x over sine squared x. And now I can take the bottom uh, fraction and just flip it. We'll have sine squared x over 1. Well, we can cancel the sine squareds out, and we'll simply be left with cosine squared x. All right, so part D, I would say that reduces simply to cosine squared x. All right, so E here, we've got cosecant squared theta uh, minus cotangent squared theta and tangent squared theta minus secant squared theta. Um, notice that looks an awful lot like these first two identities I put down. That's why I put them down there. Um, Let's see if we can't sort of manipulate uh, these identities to get these expressions. Uh, let's maybe do, deal with the numerator first. We've got tangent squared theta minus secant squared. Well, I could subtract the secant squared over, and that would give me tangent squared x minus secant squared x plus 1 equals 0. Well, then I can simply subtract the 1 from both sides, and I'll get tangent squared x minus secant squared x equals, well, negative 1. So in the denominator, it says we'll be left with a negative 1. And I'm going to do the same thing uh, to figure out an expression for cosecant squared minus cotangent squared. Well, that's our second identity here. So again, we want the cosecant squared to stay positive. So what I'm going to do is just simply subtract cotangent squared from both sides. And that'll give us cosecant squared x minus cotangent squared x. Well, that's the same thing as positive 1. So that's what I'm going to stick in the numerator. So I really have 1 over negative 1, which is simply going to give us negative 1.